What's up guys, welcome back to another LumaFusion video. In this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna make a stop motion video. Stop motion video is basically photos stitched together and uh, then turned into a video. And this is also used when making hyperlapses and time lapses as well. We can do that with the Mavic 2 Pro. And once you do that, it will take a series of photos and then either stitch it together, which is an awesome feature. So for LumaFusion, if you have the Mavic 2 Pro. You don't need to do anything, you can just import the finished video file that is created on the drone itself. The stop motion is also something that you make in a Lightroom, that you color grade all your photos in Lightroom and then you transfer it over to Premiere Pro and Premiere Pro will make a video for you. Uh, we're gonna do something similar in LumaFusion today. I need to continue this downstairs because there is no space here to do this. So I'm gonna go downstairs, rig everything while you guys are watching what we're gonna create today in LumaFusion. So I see you guys in a bit. <laughs> So to achieve this stop motion effect in LumaFusion, you want to set up your camera on a tripod. Here I have my Sony a6300 on a tripod. Depending on your showcase and what you're gonna show, what you're gonna do for your stop motion, but it's always good to have proper lighting. So to achieve this effect, I used my AK4500. So what I first did was to take it apart so I have every single part here. And uh, now let's move over to the part where you create this effect. So make sure that you set up your camera and you have all the correct settings that you need to make this uh, stop motion effect. By settings, I mean that you have, if you have a Sony a6300 or a Sony a series camera, you want to overexpose if you shoot or take picture in S-Log. But you can also do this in auto mode. The quality will be more or less the same, but your color grading is a little bit harder. And you can't do that massive color grading that you probably want in your videos and your photos. But it's always good to start in auto so you can practice on this effect. So now we placed our camera. So what we want to do now is to take one piece at a time. Uh, and make sure it's just inside the frame and then we're going to take a photo and then we move the next part a little bit and we enter another one then we take a new photo move them a little bit and take a new photo and we continue doing this all the time so what you do is you move the things that you want to make a stop motion video of and you move them just a tiny bit inside the frame of your camera and then you continue doing this and once you have a couple of parts inside the frame you can always enter new items that you want to have in your frame so as you get close to the part of your stop motion that you want to raise an object uh, from laying down to standing up in some cases it might be good to use like a fishing line because it's not that visible inside the photo and you can always remove it in the photo in post-production using affinity photo or um, or photoshop and that allows you to make pretty pretty awesome stop motion videos because you can basically have them flying in the air but in this example i didn't do that but what i did was to just take out the feet of the tripod a little bit and then made it like rise on the tripod just like this, just a little bit at a time. And when I got to the point where I wanted to raise it to a standing position, I was just changing the feet a little bit and made sure that it was barely, barely standing straight up. And then I took a snapshot of that and I just raised the arm a little bit, took a new snapshot, then a little bit again, and another one. So when you're gonna make this stop motion video, it all comes down to how fast you want it to be and how long you want it to last. So if you want it to last longer, then you move the subject or the object just a little bit at a time. 
And if you want it to be faster, you can have more space on the object inside each photo. But that's up to each individual and what you want to create inside your stop motion. So now you know the basics of stop motion and how we create stop motion. So now let's jump over to the iPad. We're going to import the photos to the iPad and take them over to LumaFusion and then add them to LumaFusion in a sequence so there's basically nothing you have to do inside of LumaFusion. The only thing you have to do is to apply the photos and render it out and you should be good to go. So let's jump over to the iPad and I'm going to show you exactly how we do this. So here we have the iPad and I just took out my SD card from the Sony a6300 and I'm going to use this lightning to SD card converter from Apple. And uh, what we're going to do now is to just plug this into our iPad or iPhone. There we go. And it should open right away. There we go. And now if we scroll down, we should see all the photos here, but I already imported those photos. So they should be up here, but here is the photos. So what you're going to do uh, is to just select all of them. Just like this. Then you're going to go to import on top right corner and import selected. And once we're done importing the photos, the next thing we need to do is to go into Luma Fusion. So we're going to open up Luma Fusion. And once we get into Luma Fusion, we're going to create a new project. The next thing we're going to do is to go over to the settings button, which is on the bottom right corner. And then we're going to change the photos to be three frames. Changing this to three frames allows us to get every single photo that we import to our timeline to be three frames long. The next thing we're going to do is to go over to source, which is on the top left corner and then go to photos and all photos and videos. Then we're going to scroll down the line until we find the first photo that we took. And then make sure to check the multi selection button, which is right here and select the first photo. The next thing to do is to either tap on the next photo or swipe your finger across from the right side to the left side to highlight more photos. And make sure that you start at the first photo on the bottom and then you go from the right to left because that's the order that the photos will be layered when you import them into Luma Fusion. So the next thing you do once you selected all the photos is to tap hold on any of the selected photos and drag it down to your timeline. Once you drag that down to the timeline, you can do a playthrough and you will see that you achieve the stop motion effect right away. However, in this video, you can see that my hand is actually holding the top of the gimbal. So we want to add some cinematic bars. So we're going to apply a cinematic preset that I made for myself earlier. This is also mentioned in a previous video, and this is something that you should consider making yourself so you can speed up your workflow. The next thing I want to do is to render out this project and then reapply it into LumaFusion for then to color grade the footage. And when you're going to render out your stop motion video, make sure to use 4K all the time because all the photos that we usually take is 6000 by 3000 something. And that allows us to do 4K every time we're going to take a photo sequence and make it into a video file. And as you probably saw in this stop motion video was that it was a little bit jittery because I wasn't paying too much attention to the camera. So it got a little bit wobbly when I took the photos, but you can also use a remote control, either a phone or a remote control if you have that for your camera. But in worst case, you can go into an app called D shake and you can stabilize your video. But if you're going to do this, make sure to stabilize your video before you apply the cinematic bars. 
So that's how you can make an awesome stop motion. It's not really that hard and it was easier to do this inside of LumaFusion than I thought. I've had this in mind for a very long time now because this is something that I thought was a lot more challenging than it actually was. Uh, so I hope you guys like this uh, video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and smash that notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below if you have used this effect in LumaFusion already or if this is something that you will consider using to make like a handwriting intro or like an unboxing video. Whatever you're gonna make, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video and stay tuned for the Fairy Tech AK4500 because that thing is just, wow, it's amazing. See you guys in the next one. Peace.